Are you feeling the afternoon slump? Today we are talking about my two-pronged approach for avoiding that 2 p.m. crash. And for those of you who aren't familiar with me, I help women to break free from yo-yo dieting and self-sabotage so they can rock their dream body and feel amazing in their skin. And today, we are talking about that dreaded 2 p.m. crash. You know what I'm talking about where, you know, you're working through your day, you're go, 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 and then all of a sudden you just hit that wall. So maybe you are in the corporate world and you're sitting at your desk and you're like, oh my gosh, I have got to go to the vending machine and get myself a snack and some caffeine. Or maybe you're at home and you're taking care of the kids and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh my gosh, I need a nap. So what do you do? Today I have two strategies to share with you that are going to help so, so much. So the first prong in this two pronged approach is what to do in the heat of the moment. So you're right there, you've hit that wall and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to go get a snack, I need to get some caffeine. Um, for a lot of people, this ends up being like a bag of chips and a soda or a pop if you're from the Midwest like me. Or maybe you grab a coffee that makes it tough for you to go to sleep at night. So instead, here are some of my best tips. You do the best you can. You make the best decision that you can in this moment because it's kind of like jumping out of an airplane and then looking for your parachute and you're like, oh shoot, I should have grabbed that. You know, when you're there in that moment, you kind of have to say, all right, what can I do right now? So here are some ideas. Number one, instead of grabbing that bag of chips and that soda or that coffee, instead grab a whole food option. So if you're at work at the beginning of the week, you can bring in a bag of fruit. You can make sure that you have um, single serving packets of nuts in your desk, maybe some peanut butter, so that you can make yourself a little snack right there at your desk and you don't even have to go to the vending machine. Also, instead of caffeine, grab water. A lot of times when we think that we're having that crash, we think that the only solution is caffeine, when in reality, a lot of times it can be dehydration. Your body is craving water, so go and get an ice water, which will help to wake you up as well, and chug that. I promise you, you will notice a huge difference. Another thing you can do is to get outside for some fresh air. Move your body. I remember uh, one of the things that my mom told me that she used to do when she was in the corporate world is if she couldn't get outside, she'd go to the bathroom and do some stretching and some jumping jacks. And I, I think she's gonna kill me when she finds out I told you that, but it's true. Sometimes you can't get outside, but you can get to the bathroom. So go there, again, do the best you can and get your body moving. And finally, my last tip is, if you can do this, this is like a super bonus, is to have a dance party, a little five minute dance party with yourself. Turn on your Spotify playlist, grab your favorite song, and just move your body. I swear, this is one of the quickest ways for me to be able to shift my energy, whether I'm in a bad mood or if I'm feeling really tired. When you start dancing, you just sort of create energy. Tony Robbins actually talks about this in his events. It's not food, it's not sleep that creates energy. We have an energy inside of us. We just have to shift our vibration, shift our energy, and get it back into that mode of feeling high vibe versus run down. Okay, so that's the first prong. Here's the second prong in this approach, and that is plan for success. One of the bigger strategies that I teach my clients is act, analyze, and adjust. So look back on the things that maybe have not worked for you and let's plan for a better future, right? If you find that you're tired every day at two o'clock, let's do something to shift that so that we can set you up for success. And the best way that we can do that is to get more rest ahead of time. Now I know what you're thinking. Sheila, if I could get more rest, I would. But here's the thing. A lot of times we tell ourselves these old stories of how we don't have time or we, we can't get more sleep or we don't have time to work out. All of these sort of excuses that we use when in reality, it's really about managing our time more effectively and prioritizing our needs and desires, which honestly for many of my clients is one of the hardest things to do. It's about worthiness and it's about taking care of ourselves. So get more rest. 
do whatever you need to do at the end of the day to clear some space to make sure that you can go to bed earlier. Make sure that you're setting yourself for more restful sleep so you're turning off all electronics at least a half an hour before you go to bed. And as they say, less is more. Do less. You do not have to be superwoman all of the time. You can say no. You can ask for help. Remember, taking care of you is one of the biggest gifts that you can give to yourself those that you love and this world as a whole. Because when we take care of ourselves, then we show up as the best version of ourselves in every aspect of our lives. So here's another aspect of the act, analyze, adjust. Let's look at what you're eating throughout the day before 2 p.m. So a lot of my clients who tell me that they're hitting this wall every single day, when we go back and we look at what they're eating, a lot of times they're skipping breakfast or they're skipping lunch or they're skipping both. So of course your body is going to rebel. Of course your body is going to crave energy. It makes sense, right? So let's nourish your body properly and take care of it so that we can circumvent this whole 2 p.m. crash completely. Make sure that you're getting in whole food meals throughout the day and you're drinking enough water. When I say taking in whole food meals, that means things like salads, like minimally processed foods, and I aim for an 80-20 split. So you're getting at least 80% of your meals from whole food sources. And I talk about this a lot on my website and in my other videos, so if you need more information, definitely go to my resource page on my website and check those out. And finally, make sure that you're planning regular breaks. I know for many of us, we think the solution is to just go, 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 and just rock through the entire day, just powering through, when in reality, if you segment your day and you have like a block of time where you're working on a focused task and then you take a break and then you're working again on another task and then you take a break, you're gonna be far more focused and far more efficient than if you just try to just go, go, go without ever taking a break throughout the day because the reality is, is you're gonna become exhausted, depleted, and burnt out. Give it a try, you will see a dramatic difference. During those breaks, make sure that you get up and walk around, you stretch, you eat something, you take deep breaths, you hydrate yourself, do all of those things that really are going to make such a big difference in how your body feels overall. So that's my two-pronged approach for avoiding the afternoon slump. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and share it with a friend who needs to hear this. And if you want more tips and tricks just like this, make sure you head over to my free video series, which is all about breaking free from body jail so you can rock body freedom, where I give you tons more tips on how to set yourself up for success. When I say body jail, what I am talking about is this idea of going through life in this world of restriction, trying to control everything, and ultimately not really feeling that great. So in that free video series, I teach you exactly how to set yourself up so that you can not only rock the body of your dreams, feel amazing in your skin, but then be able to actually go out and do those things in life that are most meaningful. So if that sounds great to you, then make sure you go to shelaveres.com forward slash video series so you can watch that video series and you'll get access to the very first video in that series right away. 